All right, yo, what's up, you guys? So it's been a minute since I've done some guitar beats, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Now, when I hear Gunna, for some reason, I instantly think of those guitar vibes, kind of like it's way older music with Lil Baby, but I don't know, for some reason, when every single time I think of Gunna, I just think of guitar vibes. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I would make a guitar melody for Gunna, and then we're gonna put some like Wheezy style drums on it. And in this video, I'm gonna be using a VST, but the title of this video obviously says free. And the reason for that is because in my one shot kit, there is a guitar that sounds very similar to the VST I'm using. So before I piss anyone off, I just wanted to let you guys know that. And also real quick, before we do anything else, if you guys could do me a huge favor, head over to my Instagram, hit that follow button for me, just cause it's the best spot for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And I mean, if you ever wanna come in contact with me, communicate with me, you can always hit me with a DM. And one more thing, if you guys could also go down and hit that subscribe button, and since you're down there, you might as well just smash that like button for me, just because it'll help push the video to other people like you who actually wanna see this. And of course, of course, of course, if you want any of the sounds, kits, vocal templates, anything like that, that I use in this video, it will be available at quintababa.com. The link is always in the description and probably the pinned comment. So uh, let's jump in this video. All right, so we got FL Studio pulled up and first thing you're gonna notice is this melody is pretty much already done, but I'm gonna just break it down for you guys anyway. So first thing we did here is I have this Evolution Strawberry guitar here. Um, I don't even know who this content bank is made by, but yeah, I started out with this bank right here and all I did was go into the view tab right here in FL Studio, scale highlighting, and I set the key of the song to D sharp minor natural. Then all I did here is, yeah, it kind of looks a little complicated right now, but here, check this out. If we go over here, literally all I did was I went to that first note, which is D, and I made a simple triad. And the way you do this is, so in FL Studio, when you set that scale highlighting, it'll uh, black out all the notes that are not in the scale. And if you want to make a triad, all you do is skip one note in the scale, and boom, that would be your second note. And then skip another note in the scale. Boom, here's your third. Let's delete that note. And this is your super simple triad. So you play this. Sounds like that. And for this triad right here, all I did, you can see it's right here. It's the D sharp, the A sharp, and the F sharp, which you can see is the same thing right here. And all I did to make that a little larger is I brought that middle note up an octave. And then I kind of played an arpeggio like this. And then you get this sound. And of course, there's a bunch of filler notes that I played in between, but obviously there's a lot more filler notes in between. And then we went over to the processing and all I did was I added literally my favorite plugin right here, Delay Eternity, Ping Pong Lo-Fi, best preset ever, it just sounds so fire. Then Valhalla Vintage Verb, I know a lot of you guys have this, but you could literally use any delete, any delay and any reverb you want, you could pretty much get the same effect. Then we have this EQ and I just shaped that sound a little bit because there was way too much high end and that low end just wasn't hitting enough. And then, yeah, enough explaining. This is what the sound is. And then after that, I went over to my one-shot kit, which you can grab at quintababa.com. It's also available in my full circle kit. So if you guys have that, you can see it in there. The full circle kit, by the way, is a drum kit, a loop kit, and a one-shot kit all in one. And then there's a bunch of other stuff sprinkled in between. Basically, what I did is I went to that uh, loop kit. I mean the one shot kit went to the bells and keys and let's see actually I went to the plucks right here and we grabbed what is it called lo-fi it's one shot right here and all I did was went to the envelope settings and I adjusted the attack like that to hold all the way up in the release I just kind of left it right in between routed this over to mixer track number two and as you can see my two favorite plugins yet again delay eternity and some reverb by Valhalla and literally all I did here was copied this guitar pattern over to the bell and then I added a few extra notes in between just to sprinkle up on top. But this just sounded great right off the bat. I'll let you guys listen. Boom. Third sound. We pulled up Contact yet again. One of my favorite banks right here in Contact. It's called Analog Brass and Winds by Output. Just has some of the most high quality sounds I've like ever heard of. And it was called this Voice of the Universe. And as you can see by the waveform right here, it's kind of like this rising pad. And I used this as an accent. I was kind of just playing around on my MIDI keyboard trying to play something that sounded good. And that's a key that you guys are going to want to keep in the back of your head at all times when you're making melodies. When you're searching for a sound, you want something that doesn't really clash too heavily with that main sound. So in our case, it's that guitar. I want something that kind of just accents it and sits in the background and really helps bring that guitar to life. And I felt like this really did. So as you can see, when we play it, it just kind of sits in the background. 
Like it's literally, it's super random. It's like super like dreamy and almost like a bell. But yeah, you get the point. And then the next sound is the sound by Surge. This is actually a free plugin right here. And I just went over into the category of plucks and we pulled out this little preset called Convex. It's kind of like that uh, one shot we used, but copied the pattern over again. I did change some notes, as you can tell. I added a bunch of stuff. And this is actually routed to the same mixer track that that plucks on, which is just a delay eternity and Valhalla vintage verb again. Yeah, and then uh, the last sound is actually just a bass, and it's another contact bank. Scarby Rickenbacker, one of the best bass, like guitar basses, I think you could really find. All I did was just copy the root notes down right here. It's just three notes, D sharp, B, and C sharp. And repeat that over for four bars. Get this. Boom, and then we're just going to go ahead and play all the sounds for you guys together. A little mixing tutorial quick for you guys. All I did when mixing this is I selected everything. You can do that by scrolling over and holding click and control at the same time and then selects all of them. Brought them all the way down and then I just brought up each sound separately until it sounded right. And this is what everything sounds like together. So uh, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go split this pattern, split by channel, and we're going to drag everything out here. And we're just going to duplicate that over a few times. And then you can see we have an 8-bar intro, and then I'm going to loop this part right here, which is the spot where we're going to add the drums. So I'm going to take out that bass, and yeah, I'll just keep it like that. And before we can do the drums, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight all the melodic parts of the song. So I think it's just, uh, yeah, those three right here. But we're just going to do... All these right here and we're gonna click this button right down here right click it and go route to this track only and what this does is just routes all of those sounds right to this track so any effect that i put on this mixer track will apply to every single one of these and what i'm going to do is add an eq and we're going to take it hit that button twice over to the 20 hertz and 18 hertz cut and we're going to pull this over to probably like 1, 150 140 perfect and the reason i'm doing that is because i know we're going to add an 808 when we're doing these drums and if there's any low end clashing with that 808, it's just not going to sound good. Let's get started on these drums. So what I'm going to do is make a new pattern. I'm going to call it drums for now. And we're going to drag this in and just expand this for eight bars total. And then we're going to go over to my drum kit available at quindababa.com. It's called Euphoria, but it's also available in full circle, which is the multi kit that I previously mentioned. But yeah, let's get this. Kind of like this, kind of looking for a low quality clap. We're also going to go into the piano roll and hit shift down there to bring that down a semitone, make the clap a little darker. We're going to use this uh, Hyatt called West End for my kit. We're going to do fill each two steps for now. And like I said, we're going for something kind of like Wheezy inspired. So what we're going to do is set this little magnet to one sixth beat because he uses this in his hi-hats quite a bit. Also, what we're going to do is actually delete all the hi-hats. And we're going to have the second hi-hat just go down in velocity a little bit. Just add some variation. Then we're going to duplicate that over. And then let's get started on some hi-hat rolls. Sounds about good. Let's hear it one more time. Get that over for eight bars. Boom. And uh, let's go on to the snare. The snare pattern right here is super typical and like Wheezy Beats here this all the time. Sounds like this. I think I'm actually going to change the second snare out. What we're going to do here is actually go into piano roll. I'm going to set it to step. I'm just going to make a bunch like this and have the velocities go crescendo down. And it's going to kind of sound like a delay. If I did this right. Okay, so it's actually going to be like this.
All right, so at this point, I'm thinking we move on to the 808. So now we got to decide between kind of like that Zay 808 or a spins. I'm definitely thinking a Zay right now. So, so I'm going to use this 808 for my kit called At At At, one of my favorite 808s. We're just going to turn that up. We already know the pattern. So this is going to be a super simple 808 pattern. So we know it's D sharp to B. So I'm just going to go something like boom, boom, boom. It goes boom, boom, boom. The A. Let's see. So I like that right there. We're gonna duplicate that over. And then just to add a little bit of variation, we're gonna try and do like some slides and stuff. Yeah, so let's duplicate that over for the rest of the eight bars. We're going to add a little bit of variation. We're going to go to the one sixth beat again here and let's see what we can do. Actually, let's go to one third step. I'm going to split this and I'm just going to have this volume kind of like crescendo up. And let's try and bring this up an octave. Let's hear it. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Now we're just going to route these drums in the mix track. And you just do that by dragging down on the drums. And we're going to go to the first open track here, which I guess is 12. Hit Control Shift L on your keyboard. And then uh, we're actually going to add an open hat on each of the first hits. So mix track. And I added this little effect right here, just on the first hit. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. There's not much more I'm really thinking we could add. All right, so let's arrange this real quick. So I just split the drums. I'm gonna bring it back out here. And then uh, let's think. Uh, I'm gonna take this out of the intro. The second part right here. Take this out on the first verse. I like this right here. Duplicate that over twice. Boom. And now we're set. So I think you uh I think you guys know what time it is. Let's do a little freestyle, huh? By the way, if you want this vocal preset, you already know where to go. Quindababa.com. It is the volume two. Vocal mixing preset. I'm on a runaway, I can't do pep. I'm on a, I'm on a run with all of it. I'm on a run and I keep it alive. I'm on a run and I keep me a hundred. I'm on a run and I keep me a hundred. I'm on a run and I keep me a hundred. I'm on a run and I keep me a hundred. I got these bitches, they living at me like I got nothing. I'm like, I got a hundred. All of my diamonds they clean. I got that money. I make this shit with the, yeah, my double cup running. Double good running. I got a hundred to keep me stay. I got a hundred to keep me some rags. You never saw that shit coming. You never shot that shit coming. Huh? Yeah, better get on and running. You better get on and running. I'm on a track with a gunner and I got this shit and we gonna bring it. Huh? Bring that shit back when I hit it right up. All of the bitches they come. Yeah, I put that bitch in the back of the Tesla. I fuck it.
cause I'm around you, sweet it down I said that she was too fast and I told you that I won't run Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new. And I hope you guys think the beat turned out well, because I actually really enjoyed that one, and it was really fun to freestyle too. You guys cannot tell me that that mixing preset isn't fire. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this at all, hit that like button for me. Subscribe for more videos like this. Also, turn those post notifications on if you don't have them on right now. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys right now, so I will have to see you in the next video. Doses.